Good morning everyone and welcome to another day on the cruise. We are in Rotterdam. I have to say, it is a lot more city than I thought. I really, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy coming into the like city ports because I thought, oh, cruises you normally go to like beachy places. But I really quite enjoy the views. I, I love a cityscape as much as I love a countryside sort of beachy scape. I feel like they each have their own sort of joys and beauties and it's a lot more city but i'm so excited we our plan is oh gosh it's actually really dark considering it's 7 20 but we are gonna go to the breakfast buffet for the first time and we haven't gone to the breakfast buffet yet because we actually quite like being wined and dined and it's free at the dining place and it's really nice there um but because we're going on our first excursion today we thought we'd go get our brekkie and just get it in your own time um and today we've got our tickets here i am so excited we're going to the delft blue pottery factory which i don't think is very big and i think it's literally like half an hour whiz around on went and said it is amazing um and they will like hand paint the pottery and i feel like that is a bit of mum and i we love a little crafty moment um so we're gonna go to breakfast and i think it's like an hour's drive from here oh. it's a nice view isn't it it really yeah. it's remind reminiscent of New York, but I think that's just because there's a bridge there and the city. I don't know, I feel like any cityscape I say that. I'm a little brown jumper on from Unico. I've put this little stripe thing underneath because I thought last one was a bit chilly, so I thought I might need the base layer. Um belts from ASOS and my little car hearts and I'm gonna go do my hair and then we're gonna go to the breakfast buffet. We are going to Horizon for breakfast. We can't work out if it's going to be really busy or not. Right, we are here. This is Horizons. And we're going to pick from the buffet. Look at this little granola station. Smoothies. Wow. My golly goodness, that was overwhelming. I did not know where to go, what to do. This little potato. Right, look at that. It is absolutely huge. And we're off on our excursion, ready, fueled with brekkie. The first stop of the day was the Delft Museum. And oh my goodness, this was so incredible to see. All of the things are hand painted. Also, I just love these commemorative plates. I feel like I wanted every single one. Specifically the moon landing one. I don't know why, but I just loved that. And how stunning is this flower vase? I think it's gorgeous. Then we were shown how everything was made. And then we got to see one of the painters in action. Honestly, the talent is unreal. We've just been to the Dell factory, which was amazing. I could have spent longer there. I love things like that. And now we're doing a little stop tour in Rotterdam. Oh. Look at that. Art Museum, high and dry. Oh. This is so cool. They have so much wonderful architecture here. I was kind of like, oh, what is there to do in Rotterdam? I oh, know, you said There's that so this much. Morning, it's so cool. Apparently, it's inspired by an IKEA metal bowl. We are back from a lovely yet wet time in Rotterdam. I have to say, like, I love those bus tours. I find them so interesting. I learnt so much. The one was so good. And the Delft Blue Factory was so good as well. Um, I've had a great little morning, even through the rain. I think initially we were supposed to walk around and get, like, a walking tour. But I actually think it worked out better because we were able to cover way more ground. I'd like um, to stay stayed half an hour longer in the Delft Museum. Just a really? Long just a little bit tiddle. Rushed. I wanted to go back and, like... Yeah, it was really good though. And we've come back to the little elephant this time. Isn't she cute? We are going to go and try the Olive Grove, which is the Italian restaurant on board, which is completely included in the price. It has been fully booked every single day, so we haven't had a chance to go there. Um, and I managed to just randomly find a booking. I think because lots of people are on afternoon excursions, we are going to venture out. Um, but I think we just need a little pit stop. Right, stand in front of what one you think it's going to be. And just randomly pick. Mum's looking, that's cheating. I'm being here. Okay. Mum won. Dang it. Right, let's go. 
Here we go, finally. We've got a good little window seat and the menu looks really, really good. So we're doing the Mediterranean sharing platter. We've got some little croquettes, we've got some chorizo and some squid, some hadrons, some halloumi. This looks so good. I can't believe it's included in the price. That looks good. Mum's got, she's already gobbled us all up. Yum, delicious. This is what I have been wanting all week. Go on, do the crack, crack, crack. Oh, you did. None of the chocolate cakes have delivered so far. Is this going to deliver? I think it will. My quarter of cream. A mouse So, I'm fine. Look at this stormy, stormy sky. Wow. We were sat for dinner and we were sat watching all the boats go back and forth and it is busy it is very very busy and um, it was really good i will say starter wasn't fantastic but we both really enjoyed our mains i just want to do the jacuzzi check i find this so interesting no one's in the jacuzzis today maybe i'll go when i get back later <laughs> we are going to go out now and have a little walk around the old rotter of the down this is grace to a tea whenever i'm on holiday and it's a city that's cold. Looking like an egg with my hat. <laughs> Ready for anything. This is my husband's because I've actually lost my coat. I'm really sad, I don't know where it's gone. And it's from Colombia and he's had it, he said, for like 12 years and it's lasted really well. And it's got this like, it's called Omni Heat. Where is it? It's got the name somewhere. There, Omni Heat. And it is the warmest coat I've probably ever had. Really recommend it. I don't know if it's waterproof. We are about to find out if it's what waterproof. I've got our brollies. They gave us free brollies on the way out. We do have to give them back on the way back. I don't, in my head, ah, I don't believe I have to give this back. But we've come for a little browse and actually we've hit into a real gold mine of shops. Is this a <laughs> Yeah. The, the Hemart in town is gone. Oh, no, let's have a look at who you know. Yeah, and the main reason we've come here, <laughs> Dunkle <a> Man. <laughs> The main reason we've come here is because I really want to go to the peanut butter shop. There is a shop that solely sells peanut butter. I feel like we should do that first and then it's, I, he said down, one and a need. And I love a clear umbrella because it's so, it's so I can nice see, I can just poke my head like this. This like is a good call, I spotted these. Yeah, thanks mum, what a good, good chat. We right, this is it apparently. Guys, the Christmas decks are already up. We've come into one of these stores that we seem to always find ourselves coming in on holiday and look at the delights. I kind of really want this because we never know where to put our cloth. But it's 18 dollars so that's quite expensive. It's look at this little one holding the tub up. And the bowler hat on the wine. It's so cool. This little spoon rest, ravioli. I've come up with a very genius invention. Umbrella holder 3000. I just put it in my pocket here. Um, so my hands are free, but we've had a great little explore in town, seen some great wonders such as the only peanut butter store, which the man was so lovely. And I mentioned that it was a gift and he was like, oh, it's a present? I was like, yeah. He sounded like the guy in, is it either the Lorax or the Grinch? So this is currently the view. There's the ship. The ship's basically the same size as the skyscrapers if you turn them on this side. Right, we are back from our excursions into Rotterdam. We had a really lovely time. I'm glad we went out for a little second explore and I got some little bits and bobs. I did, look at this. There was a whole peanut butter shop. That was a highlight and he was so lovely. What else did I get? We are at the Sky Dome. I'm still looking very flushed. And we're about to have the bird show, whatever that means. This is what it currently is looking like. We are at the Keys and we're going to get this fish and chips because it's so highly recommended. Look at that. And a little, little side salad. I have got my dessert back in the room. So our little chill day. There wasn't good dessert options today, but I have to say the fish and chips were incredible. Like that mm. man told us yesterday, they were very good. I'm gonna try this treacle sponge, which isn't a dessert I would normally go for, but <laughs> needs must. It's okay. And a fruit oh. salad. 
fiber. Goodness me, look how foggy it is this morning. Oh. Mother has gone to get a coffee um, and I am gonna get ready. Yeah, baby. And we're going to the windmills today um, and I just feel like it'll be really fun, except it's really foggy. So will we be able to see said windmills? <laughs> Who knows? I'm dressed, ready for the day. I've gone for my wide legs today and I've said this in a vlog before, but if if you're on the taller side or petite, mint velvet do leg length and they're actually quite long. I think I'm five foot nine and a half. So I think anyone who's like 5'11", they might not be long enough for you. Um, but if you're like slightly on the taller side, they work. Anyway, let's go to brekkie. Freshly stacked bacon and sausages. Plate one of the day. The pan of chocolates I've learned I really like. The waffle, he's new on the market. I also got a hard boiled egg, the protein. So you can see how foggy it is. You can't see anything, but over there, you can see the tip of the bridge. We're not wearing Kinder Dyke and we're on a school trip. <laughs> Just imagine there's a windmill over there. Because this area is around two meters below sea level. We can kind of see one on the door. There we go. The windmill in the distance. Such a shame about the mist. <laughs> Such a shame. But we're getting there. Oh, there's another one. I feel like I'm in... Um, there's a film where it's really foggy, but I can't remember the film I'm thinking of. There we go, we're coming close to one of 19 mills. Right, we're going in. It's straight in. Mm. Wow. We are up in the mill. <laughs> we have had a look at the windmills. It is fascinating. Oh look, the little windmill in the background. And it's, you know what, as the woman said, it's just an excuse to come back and see them in like spring or something. That'd be amazing. They are gorgeous even they're kind of nice with the eerie they remind me of great expectations do you know the start of the was yeah. it the bbc one um, the one that was actually fun fact my nanny and granddad taught in the school that was there and they lived in the attic in great expectations i didn't know that you didn't know that no, i don't know why i hadn't really on dad's side yeah you know that, and Deb was born no, there. No, I know that house. I didn't realise they used that house for Great Expectations filming. Yeah, it's in the start. It's in the intro. Oh, fun little fact. Oh, but the sun's coming out, Grace. Oh, are we going to miss it? We're going to walk. <laughs> well, no, I think the sun is not burning through. It's that weird sort of like makes your eyes burn a little yeah. bit. We have got, I think, an hour until we need to be back at the bus. Less than an hour so we're going to try and go. There's only Probably. one bakery in the whole of the area i was just thinking in my head these are flour mills so i was like all oh, the bakery stuff will be good but they're water mills try and guess right now if i'm in anything what do you think i'm in i'm in a clog yeah you weren't expecting that were you there's also a little souvenir shop oh some little wooden tulips yeah. i'm glad we ventured out it's such a sweet little town. Here we go, here's the little bakery. Look at all of this, it smells so nice in here. And they're making the pastries back there. Oh look, I feel like I could try everything. Look at it. This savory stuff looks like what Chloe would love. That was great. I love going to the local bakeries or going to the local. I just love seeing like the real heart of somewhere, you know? And to me, the heart is the bakery. And that is so impressive, all of those windmills. How cool is that? We just got off the coach. Um, I had a really good time. And as you can see, classic. But we're used to this with England's weather. It has brightened up just as we have gotten off the boat. Um, which is a little bit annoying because we could have had this on the windmills but hey ho as we said an excuse to go back we are now going to go to the food hall it's called food helen okay here we go burgers and bon it's like oh, it's the bad ones. didn't i say that that's what they should have i want to try it all there's also a sushi bar there's a korean bar this is quite a good little it's actually quite a good little spot here. So excited, I have found Nem. They have these in France, but they don't have them in England. And I'm so excited, I love them. Which you do, you wanna see this? Oh, they haven't given me any mint. Normally you get mint with it. You wrap it in your lettuce, little lettuce leaf. Bit of cucumber in there. And then, you dunk it in this sauce. I wish I could bring this to England because there is none anywhere. 
It must be on some little like market. So this is Vietnamese chicken soup, which looks different to what I thought it was going to be. A little leggy in there. Three. Oh, well, that was an interesting one. My nem was so flipping good. I have been looking for nem for so long. They only do them. Well, I've only found them in Paris. <coughs> bless you, my love. Bless you, my darling. Oh, yeah, mum's a bit poorly. But um, the I didn't really rate that soup. There's <laughs> there's not many foods that I'm like, oh, I can't finish that. But I felt like that. It was. It had like crisps in it, but I want to know if that's authentically a recipe or not. Oh, maybe I did take us the wrong way. It's okay, we'll find it. Um, and now we're going to go to the supermarket because what I want to get some poffager mix and make proper poffagers. Right, here we go. Albert Hyde. I mean, is it even a question at this point? I always have a good time in the supermarket. I'm stocking up. It's just so fun to see different foods. Even, look at these. I don't know why this is sweet to me. Crokey hoops. Wackles, they look good. I think I had the wackles, didn't I? We are back for a little pit stop and then we're gonna we're gonna see what the time is once we've done all our ablutions and freshened up and everything. And then we're gonna see if we can try and venture into town one more time, I think. But I don't know if it'll be too late because we leave port today at 6.30. 30, flirty and thriving, you know? I feel like I should show you all the little goodies that I got. I got, this is a bit of a rogue one. Whenever I went to Honor's house when we were younger, her mum had this. Now I tried to specifically find, these are poffages. I don't know if that's, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I pronounce it, it's this word, poffages. And you like dust the icing sugar on, and I have a poffages pan, but I don't have, well I have tried making the mix before, but I thought it'd be interesting to try and find the mix, but I could not find the mix. I also got an apple tart, because I wanted to see how different a like apple tart from the Netherlands was so I got that and then I got pancake mix because I thought again is it different from English one I want to see and then I got these to try the little chocolate sprinkles um and then I got some baked goods as well from the little bakery which was so cheap actually um and that's all my bits and bobs and we've had a lovely lovely time I feel like we've got a real taste of Holland. I feel really I feel like I could get to know Holland a bit better. You know what I mean? I could be I could be friends with Holland. I've had a wave of tiredness I have. It's hit me. I feel like all the travel and exploring. That is a big <laughs> This feels like a bit of a joke. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's just a boat with tractors on it. Why? <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry, I just got distracted by it. I feel like there would be a definite nickname for that, for Bacta. Mum, there is a big boat with all these tractors on. Have a look. It's so funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like hundreds. Is this Maybe a hundred. Um, I want to stay and have a nap. However, I can nap at any time. When am I ever going to be in Rotterdam? Oh, usually it's me that wants to nap. I think it's because I did the, the fatal thing of sitting down um, and now I want to nap. But no, I shall not. Mum is taking me on a walk. <laughs> and we're going to do it. But you're going to have to navigate because that's well, one of that the things. I might not be able to do that. I, I hate navigating. Because my bridge. mittens get cold. <laughs> we just bumped into the two sweetest individuals on our cruise and they were just. I was on a mission, I was walking along, and they were like, are you going into town? And I was like, we're walking, <laughs> we're walking. <laughs> but mum's like, yeah. <laughs> and they've given us their tube, their tram tickets, which is for 24 hours, and they were like, can you believe it, 20 pounds it was gonna be to try and get into town and 20 pounds back all day for all tram. That is so sweet, I love it. I wanted to hug them, I nearly did. My arms nearly swung around them. Did you feel it? I was about to hug them and they're all oh, not a time or place. <laughs> I want to get them some chockies. But you don't see them, we don't know their name, there's nothing about them. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't say anything on here. Oh, well. We did say a very profuse thanks, didn't we? Yeah, that was so kind. Oh, That's made my actual day. That's put my pet my step. <laughs> not that side, the 23 tram. We are in the centre. I feel like something I've learned is that 
it's the most unique city I've been to, I feel like. It's a blend of kind of everything. I can't believe it. Basically, long story short, Estonia holiday many years ago. There was this hot dog that we had and my family and I talk about it to this day. We've never seen anything like it. We've just walked by and there is one. It was in this like baguette and I've never had anything like it. That was so freaking good. And look what we've stumbled across. So stream green if you saw or you got up into Hamburg. We came in here and absolutely tore it up. It's an amazing place. I love it. <gasps> I want that. that I didn't see. It's so beautiful. The little pink house. So cute. I genuinely think this is such a bad place for me because I just want it all. How sweet is that little shooting star cookie cup? Stop it. And this with like a baby candle in it. I love it. It fits my finger perfectly. Mum, look. It's meant for me. I really want this. I have no need for it. I could find a need for it. In case you wonder what it's like to get on board and off the ship, it's you basically just go through the scanner thing and step through, see if there's anything to buzz you. And then you're basically in the terminal lounge here. There's the boat. And then you just show your cruise card. You don't even have to get your passport or anything. It's wild. Hello cherubs. I have a very strong desire to go to, there's a specific pool that we haven't yet been to. And I can't find it every time I try to look for it. And I think I worked out, I've looked at the big map and I think I've worked out that it's in the adult section and so I- So you won't be able to go then. So I really, really, before the day is done, I wanna, I wanna go in it. Um, it is freezing though, so I'm putting on all the layers. I can really see the appeal of a hot, um, a hot cruise. Not having to layer up and just like be able to go and, you know, sit out on the balcony. It's on. I asked the member of staff and she's told me there's only one rectangular pool. But I know what I saw. Everyone I speak to says there isn't one. I'm, mum, I'm gonna have to march you round at the back of the ship because there is one at the back of the ship. And I can't find it. Anyway, I think it's not there. No, I'm being so serious. Anyway, look how big this one is. This is adults only, so perfect for very sophisticated individuals. <laughs> this is quite a fun one. And some stars. Oh yeah, crack it out. Little bit of aqua fit. I should need an aqua fit crew on the boat, shouldn't I? Oh yeah. Is it cold? It's actually not, if you submerge yourself fully. Shoulders on um, I think it'd be, when the breeze comes. Oh, it's nice, man, it's nice. This is my favorite move in the pool, ready? That. I'll show them a different view. This is the lovely view. Oops. I was afraid of falling in. That would be funny. <laughs> You're not even in my picture. I'm not bad. Wait, what about this? Just wait for my bar. Wait, wait, let me do this. would be what it would be if I did um sick of my swimming. Sitting on the heater. How funny for people in the office. We are back. I have not found. Actually, before we go to the show, can we walk around the deck to try and find this yeah. blasted pool? Yeah. Honestly, I cannot find oh. this pool. And the person I was speaking to was like, "There's only one rectangular pool." I know. I have seen it. Hang with on, my eyes. On, I took this photo for you of the, the four, the right, there's four swimming pools here. Okay. I took this I for know. you. I know where one is. Um, but the hot tub, the adult only hot tub is so much bigger and I was just rolling around in there. I had a great time. And we're going to a show tonight. We haven't yet decided what we're doing for dinner. I originally had one booked. But that was for 6 p.m. And normally we eat at 6 p.m. But because we've been eating a lot more and a lot later, we're not hungry until like 8. So we're going to wait until after the show and so then go for somewhere. I'm kind of feeling the Massaman curry. I couldn't choose. And the man's bought a whole nother meal. <laughs> what? I was gonna Here have we go. Meal. Is it going to do it? We're going to have a lot of cooling. Oh, wow. Yummy. Look at that. It's really melty in the middle.